sequence archived. Recalibrating Animus Idol parameters. Morning bell. God, I hated that. Ringing five days a week just before dawn. Up before the birds. Me and the other kids. Come on, Desmond, get up. No lagging. Exercise. Mandatory. A dip in the creek to get clean, then oats with butter and apple juice for breakfast. Ugh. I must have walked a million miles before I was ten. But it was nice. I liked those days out in the hills. The hush, the open air, the deep dark of the forest. Crunch of boots on the dry ground. Can you see Rapid City from here? No, no. That's much further east. Mom laughed when I asked her about it. Can't get away, she said. Well, we pick our battles, I guess. So many to choose from. She told me the average American household contains three dozen Abstergo-owned products at any given moment. If you tried to purge them from your life completely, it would be a full-time job. What is this war about? What are we fighting for? They never told me much. Just enough. They kept things shrouded. An air of secrecy. For my own good, they said. So we stayed hidden. Away in the Black Hills. If anyone ever knew who we were, or what we were doing, there'd be trouble. They're everywhere, Desmond. They have their hands in everything. Politics, war, finance, high-tech, agriculture. People are asleep. And while they dream, Abstergo builds a nightmare. Abstergo. The first time I saw that name, it was on the side of a bottle of ibuprofen. This was it. The global conspiracy, Abstergo. Fingers in every pie. Governments, corporations, universities. Mom and Dad made it sound so scary. But it didn't feel scary. An enemy has to have a face, but all I could see was a bottle of painkillers. What scared me was the training. Sweat, tears, bloody lip every once in a while. Focus, Desmond, focus. How far were they going to push me? Strength, speed, agility. No excuses. Couldn't stand it. What was the point? For years and years, I thought some major catastrophe was on the horizon. I didn't know what to expect. <laughs> 